Hello guys, welcome to episode 4 of the Mitsu Diamond series and now we are going with Echo. He's a very fun pick and the good part about this gem is the fact that he's also very strong as a jungler. So he's a pretty versatile pick, you know. You can Q mid and jungle and then if you don't get mid then you can still play him in the jungle. And this build setup right here, this is used by the rank 1 Echo in the world. So this allows you to proc your passive insanely fast and if you play against mages and stuff then you just, just start the E lone. You run in, you get a really fast passive proc and then you just disengage. In this game I'm playing as a Z and he has resolve. Which is most likely bone plating. So if I take E and try to trade I'm going to lose it right. So in this case I'm just gonna start the Q. But if he did not have bone plating then not, I would start the E and then it would allow you to play aggressive already from level 1. It gives you some huge early spike. I'm like 99% sure that he has bone plating so you want to take that one out first. That's why I'm not starting the E but the Q instead. So we can hopefully bait it out and then we look for engages afterwards. He's always going to use his Q to last hit the minions, so don't stay behind them. Oh, that's actually pretty uh, nice sound from his Q. Oh, that was close. That would be nice if we could take out the bone planning. But Zed, he's pretty weak early on, but he has one of the most OP laning phases later. After he gets like level 4 and onwards. So it's early on, if you want to abuse him, that's when you have to do it. I'm not surprised. Why am I not surprised? And Fiora is the most OP champ right now. Top. Of course it makes sense that they're trying to get a fed so she can just 1v9 it. So since I could be on this side, so I think I'm just gonna get a ward down. It was one planning. You see, this is what it allows you to do. Insanely fast auto attacks and just almost insta proc. Oops, I should have taken W, my bad. Just working out with two points into the queue if you can hit it, but you always want to have W level 3 because it makes your trading potential so much better. But it, what's important here is that you animation cancel, so you use your E and Q at the same time. Makes it really hard to dodge your Q. Otherwise it's pretty simple to sidestep. Alright, let's get the W. And the good thing we have TP right so we can take a trade like this then we can just recall and TP back and we're gonna have an advantage that way but you see trying to play aggressive and against Z what's really important is this WEQ combo. So we're not gonna die. It's more if the cannon try to uh, knock me out. Nice, he's already inting. I don't know why I'm so unlucky with my top laners recently. He gets the counter pick. Oh, he has a chance to counter pick, but then he picks Trundle and look what happens. Right, so yeah, I think we'll do like this. Go for Lich Pain first. I should also like to get the boots. Lich Pain is insane. Lich Pain first and then, you know, see two boots and then probably Nashes. Yes, let's go. So Echo can never do anything about Fiora, the champ is too broken, but he's good against squishy teams. Because he's gonna demolish them pretty fast. With his burst damage. Remember against that you want to wait for his W-EQ combo to come out. 
one status on cooldown. That's when you're looking for trades. So right now, it would be a really good time to start looking for trades. But also the bone plating is pretty insecure. He used that one, but it's good against Seiko. And of course, wait for your Hill of Blades to come back up. You don't just int it. And at level 6, you don't have to skill your ultimate yet. I just do it. Bro, like, can you chill? What is this guy doing? Uh, it's the exact same thing that happened like last couple of games. I'm sure I was playing Akshan. I tried to ban the OP champs. Because no, nothing can stop a Fiora. Alright. Just reset here since we're getting pretty low on mana, so no point staying. Like this. The only thing that sucks with this build is the fact that you're gonna run low on mana pretty often. So what you can do is that instead of this secondary page you run Presence of Mind and then um, the rune that deals more damage to low HP targets. I forgot. Coup de Gras, that's what it's called. Because Echo is all about bursting. Nice. Right, go out of vision when you place the W. He's gonna dodge it, but if he W's forward, he'll be taking a lot of damage. Same thing, even when he has his ultimate up, wait for his W EQ combo to come out. Or if he Qs the minions, then you can step forward. He's stopping out like this, it's even better because it just gives us pressure. So I could shove the wave and then I can try to look for roams. Luckily, Lee Sin sort of saved the top side, even though I think he was still dying. He already died three times in that short amount of time. He's gonna. That will not be the end of it. Yeah, the vision here is to stop you. And I don't have flash up, so since our comes, it's going to be bad. What he's trying to do is that, you know, if he does this fast enough, then I'm gonna follow him all the way to here. I will be under the tower. I think this guy is playing a bit too passive, even though he should be winning the lane, so we just look for room, but sight. Brother Sinsao. Pretty hard to roam bot because of this push. We just keep trading and taking his Tobio out. Oh! That's worth it. He also lost the cannon. His ultimate and the ignite. I think I'm gonna base, I'm not gonna use the potion. Come on, let's just use it in case since thou comes. Look how easy it is to wake clear. It's going to normally, you know, at level 9, that's where you really start spiking as the mid laner because you have maximum rank and your heavy damaging ability. I think I just go straight for tier 2, so might as well do it. And I cannot afford the sheen, anyways. Seen also great synergy with Echo because he procs it with a C. There's no ult and ignite, so they should be fine unless they're gonna recall from a troll position. Gonna push it in case he's going bot still. Or whatever he's doing, who knows. Did he got a kill top? I am pleasantly surprised. Bone plating's out. Now it's when you start trading. I'm gonna slow him. I start your bro. Nice. Oh. Let's keep going. Let's go. 
Or attack for the ripoff proc. Oh, never mind. That's a ghost coming out. Jesus. Oh, she's so fast. That's one thing here yeah, that people don't know about Echo is that they think if he does not insta step into the W, the stun is going to disappear. But you can delay it. So you can press down the W. And when it spawns, you can wait. And then you can enter it later, like this. It catches a lot of people off guard. It catches a lot of people off guard. Here's some MR coming in. You know what, I think I might as well wait until I can straight up afford the entire item. And I have double buffs anyway, so I'm gonna heal up. I like to place random Ws like this. Because sometimes the opponent might be staying over here and then maybe you can catch them off guard and get a kill that way. Gonna push it. Take all the minions with your passive. Might have a CP bot. If she stayed at the tower and they tried to dive her, that would have been so good for me. That would have been insane. Get it. Get him. Okay, he's slow. He's slow HP. Do we go mid? I think we can make it fast mid, right? Fiora's dead since I was top side. Just to push it in. Gonna give Estrel some vision over here in case he's waiting around. He has MR, he bought that pretty early on. Usually you don't do this. You know, if he dies early on, then it's a smart choice. So the mistake I made here is that I did not get Dark Seal. Because then I could have gotten a mid ice And Snowball even harder, but it's fine, it's like a safer way. Next item is going to be the um, Nash's Tooth. I'm gonna prioritize the ability haste. An enemy has been slain. Lee Sin is doing great. He actually single handedly carried the top side. He's playing really well. And bot lane is also doing great. I think there might be four bots. That, you see there? I'm gonna push if he's bot. Because we can push it insanely fast. You don't always have to follow the rooms. I think I'll take the rip off as well. Never look back. I'm gonna help ward for my bot side. Yeah, he's probably gonna do the arrow. I'm gonna place a W once again. Just ran on W sometimes. He might get a free hit. Looks like he's chasing the Trundle, the Z and the Sinsau. I'm gonna push. Yasin is playing pretty insane actually. He's actually playing really good. I don't see that very often in these ranks. And now even this guy is winning top. And the FF, nice, okay. That was a pretty short game, but of course we're gonna show more. This was how to play against the Z.
Let's go guys, next game playing against the brand and this is where it's really really good to start E level 1. You know when you play against these mages because if you get to gap close you're always going to out DPS them level 1. And the thing is that it always catches them by surprise. They never expect it even though it's pretty obvious. So he started W. I think I'm gonna go ahead and reset. Going to be delayed by quite a bit. Nah, no man, let's just stay. So we know he started W, so it's even better if the moment he uses a W, then you E in, get that passive proc, and then you peace out. Because he is also going for full acro page. And he has no TP, like we do. Good trade. A lot of HP he lost. And there's no way he could hit a W as well when we have that much bonus movement speed. Makes it really easy to dodge and then you just repeat. Like this. And with that bonus moon speed you can just run away and he can do nothing. I just wait for Halo Blaze. This is what you keep doing against mages. But be careful of the jungle now. It's Nocturne, he has no flash so there's no way he's gonna catch us. Unless we run into him somehow. If he uses the W, I'm gonna E forward. He might use it to farm. Because if he uses it to farm, he can never stun me. If he has Q, so he does not have Q. Okay, then we can just engage constantly. Oh man, I thought that Q was going to hit on the returning part. This is a bit greedy. But they are further away because of this AoE damage. Gavin wants to gank? Looks like he wants to gank. Bro, hit him. Bro, what? Why did he not hit? Bro, this Gavin is trolling, man. What? This is such a big mistake I see in these ranks is that people, you know, they don't trade back. Like why are you not trading back? We would have killed the Nocturne. But instead he just runs away and get hit by f for free and then he heals her with the triumph. So that was pretty bad. This is uh, what I mean, well, you know, I also talked about this in another video. Make sure that you're trading back. Don't just let the opponent hit you for free and then run away while that's happening. That's how you end up losing the lane and the fight. Got a pretty good lead early on as well, so kind of sucks, but it is what it is. This one has a pretty massive range, so if you cannot get kills mid, one thing you can do is that you roam a lot. I probably want to be roaming bot side or towards the Nocturne. Ah, oh, they're reacting so slow. That'd be pretty bad if I roam that way. I'm just gonna push it once again while Brand is doing something. I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna try to get Pryo. I could only buy tier 1 boots, so that's why there. How did that hit? Through the minions too? Yikes. No fruits? Actually still not quite sure when they start spawning the fruits. Alright, it's the same thing, just stay out of vision, and if he's gonna back off from the W, at least you can use this to push with. He also tanked the returning part. Don't have ignite. If you have ignite, of course, it's a lot easier going for the kills, but you don't scale as well, and you don't get that free recall. I think I'll go ahead and reset because it's the cannon wave. Still up in CS. We're gonna get a dark seal. 
made that mistake last game, not getting this one. He's staying. That's good, he's not getting a reset. He's getting a plate instead. Let's see if we can cancel one reset. Probably won't be able to. And you know, if you guys want, you can just avoid killing your ultimate until the very moment you actually need. You know, to bait like one time engage and then returning a kill or something, but I really see BA doing that. I am too lazy for that kind of stuff. But most Echo players do that. It's going to work if the opponents don't know about it. But in higher ranks, almost everybody knows. At that point, it should be pretty obvious. That's tier 1. Okay, so Nocturne probably has his ultimate up. I can imagine. Because he's fed and he probably has a lot of... Yes. Against Brand, you want to take out his Q. If he still has his Q up... Then at least engage after he used his W and E on the wave, because that way he cannot stun you. Then he would have to ult. The bot lane getting ulted. I hate being responsible. Will alt out before I get ignited. Shut down. Right, let's get out. Honestly, I'm not very happy about getting a Shen because they typically end up falling two, three levels behind. This one is okay, but he will fall behind. That's for sure. And they just end up being useless the entire game, so I'd rather not have a Shen on the team. I love playing against it though. But if it's a good Shen, he can definitely do a lot, but it's very rare you see one. Now this guy actually gave me mid. Probably filled or playing like... It's hard to play Shen because it's safe. In that case, it's okay. His ultimate is out and flash is out as well. I'd rather make mistakes than make nothing. Rip Shen. I could freeze it because it's a cannon minion, but I want to push. I want to push and have pressure. Damn, I'll come. There's no flash on the Nocturne, so if he ults... Oh man, he got the kill. That blows big time. That sucks so bad. But I don't think he tried to steal it. Somehow he just got the uh, kill. But the Nocturne playing with a flash, right? So every single Javan ult should be a kill on him. As long as I'm there. I have CP, it's okay. Brand is really strong, Ilion. Like, he's super strong. But he's gonna fall off, you know, when Echo scales up. I think I have to stay for this one some int bot side, but then again playing Syrah against double poke, that's not very fun. Just to uh, stop him from getting the plate. Oh nice. Got down on the Israel. I always prioritize getting the AP items first before the Sheen.
because I want to have damage on my abilities in order to be able to wave clear. He might just engage if I ult, like, you know, the Nocturne. So I have to make sure that my clone is always behind me, so I can ult out if Nocturne is coming. But now we're just gonna chill and stay back. You have really easy wave clear now. The moment you get level 9. Good to go. Right, solid trade. Might be recalling here, so I'm gonna place down a... He has to wait a little bit, he did not wait. Bot lane is gonna get ult set, I have to go bot. First the Javan, I can't see anything. Really nice. Have ult, hello? Bro, I'm not getting a single kill, that's disgusting, man. That is so disgusting. Good ult by the Shen. That's why I went all the way in. He has ignite, he has ignite. Please don't go within range. Good job, Shen. Good ults. I have to go top and defend, I guess. But yeah, this is typically what happens. Look at how he's gonna be two levels behind soon. This happens every single time you have a Shen on your team. Every single time. And it never changes. Really sucks that I'm not getting any kills, I really need it. At least we bought the Dark Seal. So we're getting some stacks out of it. This guy we cannot miss with. He's a bit too tanky, you know. These are the type of champs that are used to counter assassins. Diving? No, mind, not diving. It's just Syrah not learning from her mistakes. At least we know his ultimate is down. Nocturnal. This is what you want to do. All the time, and of course even better when you have the rip off. He's pretty tanky because he's getting HP from this uh, Lion Riss. That's okay. We had great wave clear right now. But did not get Omega body blocked, that would be nice. Enough gold for the Lich Bane, that is the spike. That's the spike we want on Echo. He bot? Or what? Okay, that's how it's going. I'm not gonna move for it. Lead waste. Right, flash this out. That's what I mean. Just spamming your W from out of vision. Can't even ping my W because this company nerfed the. Um, so now Nocturne is gonna ult. Nice, good job. I have to recall, but I want to be out of vision so I don't get ulted out of nowhere. Do I go for this? Nice.
don't need to ult because he already used his W. That's the main thing you are watching out for on set. Okay, he's ulting top. I can just TP and uh, protect the tower. Or well, at least try to. You're gonna charge it. Maybe I should have kept chasing. I did not know if Nocturne was going to be close. But you know, we need we need the Nash's Tooth, but even more importantly, we also need the Death Cap. That's why you start demolishing these uh, squishy targets. Death Cap and the Lich Pain, and it's your time. Let's get out. I'm gonna place a ward here so I can see who's coming top and then I can try to find the brand. Get the tier 2. So I think in this game I'm gonna get the Mercury Treads because double AP. Or will brand also having some annoying CC. Bro, you don't win, what? Why is he taking these fights? Made it in time. Have fun farming. You might get ulted by Noxon, but I'm gonna go mid right now because if Syra gets ulted, then I could maybe do something. There's a ward here. Go, Javan. Flashed out. Nice. It's actually good Astral's getting the shutdowns. And Jin flashed out, so next fight that's gonna be uh, tough for him. Sucks that they have exhaust. It's actually pretty good against Deku if you exhaust him the moment he's coming in. Gonna reduce so much damage and then they can trade back. Oh, what? Wait, what happened to my flash? Oh my god, what happened? Yikes. Holy smokes, I misclicked. I misclicked big time. I didn't even want to flash out. I was going to run this way, I don't know what happened. How, how did I even flash in? Jesus, my stacks too. Yeah, we had three drakes. And this one seems like it's going to be pretty good against a Nocturne. Don't, please don't. Just defend, just defend. Is that Siren? I hope it's Siren. She's a bot anyway, so we don't mind her dying. I wonder if he can hold or not. Commit just in case. If Vilkos comes, the side still trying to poke, I can engage. Here I have to ult out, otherwise I die. Because I made a mistake and I was not within range. Estral is the superstar we have right now, he's the fed player. He's the one we have to um, make sure he does not die. Because his Qs are dealing a lot of damage. I think this C still works, but you have to stay super close, I'm pretty sure, like as close as you possibly can.
Finally he dies. Just in sold out. You had to like the, the cooldown is really low, so you can afford to do this, but you had to be fast. If you're not fast, it means that you get CC'd and then your ultimate is going to do nothing. I'd like to get something for the TP. Now we're coming with a poke. Wait for his W. Okay, flashes out. Super worth it. Estrel doing his thing. He has to watch out for Nocturne. He's gonna help me, right? No, mind. He did not do it. Nice. Ideally, on Echo, you want to spend solid amount of time in the side lens because this is where he starts shining his mobility to easily get over walls high catch potential insane burst damage you know if a mage has to meet you in the side lane it's going to be an absolute nightmare for them you can get the soul that'll be sick no flash on the set either now we have these two items and then we just need the death cap and we're good to go I'm gonna place a control ward here in case he tries to poke. Remember the delayed W I talked about? I'm gonna stay on this side. Oh no. He's surviving? He's getting dove. Let's take the Drake. We gotta get the Drake, but Estrel died. A lot of the damage is gone. A lot of damage is gone, sadly. Yeah, to uh, follow up. Oh, okay. His fourth order tag is gonna knock me out. There we go. There's the flash. Knocks on his back and he's gonna ult. That's the back off. Sucks, we lost a Drake. That would have been pretty free as well. So hard to catch a Jin as well if he gets to auto attack somebody because he just flies away at 1 million movement speed. If Javin can steal it, he's beast. They're gonna get the Baron if he dies. Astral, just Astral has to stay alive. gonna ult out immediately so if I get CC I'll just die like I would die for sure but this flanking you know engages that's the goal on echo and get in from the sides with a clean W then you're good to go are they going top look like they were going from top towards the Baron or something this one Not gonna kill him in time. Let's get it. I have ults in five for the Noxian ult, which is about to be up. It should be up right now, I think. The real fun part begins as soon as you have Death Cap. 
We also have fully stacked Dark Seal, but I don't want to delay my death cap anymore. But maybe Jin could be here. It's not. Lucas coming. However, this might be warded. If I get caught, that could mean the Baron. So I'm not going to do that. Nice. This guy already died a lot and he doesn't care. He does not care about the Nocturne, but it's good for us because then we don't have to worry about his holds. He's also pretty tanky. So taking him, him down is going to take ages. That's why usually I like to hover behind and when the ultimate comes out from the Nocturne, I'm ready to like peel. That's what. Just push. I don't see P for this. I'm gonna place a W once again. He always has exhaust for me for some reason. No, he keeps pushing, right? But they're not gonna keep pushing. But I think we'll chase. I chase. Keep rocking the rip off, bro. Let's get it. Hit this guy too. Echo is fast. He has the fear as well. That's the uh, benefit of having Lich Pain. Because I feel like the players who have Lich Pain, they also tend to outrun me all, more, all the time. But yeah. Nocturne is dead, so nothing to worry about at the moment, so we're just gonna push. I have death caps, I'll reset fast and then I can TP, but they're gonna get ulted. Any MR coming in? No MR. The next item is Sonya's Hourglass. Another super strong item on Echo, but usually you don't buy it early on because you know he's already safe with the ult. But this build is gonna allow you to start one shotting people. If you get Sonya's, you have safety, but you're gonna lag on damage. So, what happens is that you get a full combo off onto somebody and then they escape with low HP because you are missing that last bit of damage. You're not gonna go walk up and farm. I'm gonna keep this midway pushed because the drake is spawning as long as they don't get ulted don't fight please press knock 10 he spot i just push 10 He has ignite. Oh, they got a shot down. Nice. Rylice and Lyandris. Yikes. That's some real tankiness. But the Drake is gonna help big time. I'm gonna TP. Wait. on CP just in case. Was it not there? Let's take it before Nocturne comes. 
I have sweeper in three seconds so he cannot ult. You know what? Let's go. This one is huge. It's so good against Nocturne. It's actually good against all of them. But especially against Burst. Still need a bit more gold. On the blue buff, just trying to protect this tower before it goes down. Right. If he ults Shinbot, then we should go for Baron. Let's hope our teammates are ready for it. It's also really troll if he ulted um, Shinbot. I'm constantly hovering the Syra as well as the Israel in case Nocturne is coming. We need to go for the carries, you know. There are a lot of carries, but you know, Jin would be ideal target. Plus, he's just getting demolished in one combo. Nice flash out. And he probably has his exhaust up. But ping these summoners because it's really important for Jarwin. Okay. Trying to get a sneaky play. I just could top. If he ults me, I'm gonna place a W instantly, like on top of myself, and then I can ult at the end. I don't think you will. Eku is so safe. I'm gonna take this one out. It's hard to push against them when they have so much wave clear. Just keep pushing. I can't see anyone. We just have to punish them this way around. Nice one. We almost died. This is what you have to do if the team is so good at split pushing, or like um, defending, I mean. Then you just go the split pushing and force somebody to come. But this was a pretty good game, so GG's. Alright, let's go guys. We are playing against a Cassiopeia. And my team is already having fun in the bot lane. Okay, she's gonna die, right? Oh nice, that's good, that's good. She was trying to trade one for one, that would be worth it for her, but she did not get it, so okay. I am running Ignite. The reason I'm doing so is because... Ooh, it's Swain. Okay, I thought it was going to be Cassiopeia. Actually, it is Cassiopeia. I guess he's just running top. But the reason I'm running Ignite is because they have a lot of healing. And Cassiopeia, you know, she relies a lot on the sustain. We're gonna wait for Halo Blaze to go up. Let's go. And it's a lot easier to get kills with Ignite. You know, TP is safer, of course. But Ignite, you know, if you're going for the kills, this is it. When I'm smurfing, I actually did this a lot in the past, you know, mainly go with Ignite. And so when she gets level 2, that's why you have to start being a bit careful. The main thing is to dodge a Q. Because you do not want to be poisoned. If you poise, get poisoned, she's gonna spam me and that Conqueror is going to allow her to sustain up and also deal 
heavy damage. But before trading against the Cassiopeia, gotta dodge that Q. And then she also gets the W at level 3, the um, anti mobility spell, which also sucks for you. But that one has a pretty high cooldown. Her Q has a much, much lower cooldown. We want her to push in. She has to push in the wave, and then we start looking for traits. I don't know what, what it is with my top laner, every single one of them just dying out of nowhere. Even into matchups, they should never be dying. Like, how do you die into a Swain? Level 3 Swain. Oh, wow. That was, uh, that's a crit on his Q, nice. I placed it over here in case he flashed away or something. Now she's slow. Just gotta level up. Gotta keep poking her a bit. But when you have Ignite, it really helps securing the kills. And if you can get the kills early on, you can snowball faster. So, certainly is still a really good summoner spell. I'm gonna help him invade, but uh, Swain might be there. Stacking up the passive. Wow, that's that's some damage from a champ that has no items. <laughs> like what? I just gave Cassiopeia a free reset, so I'm actually losing a lot from this. Oh, never mind, she did not reset. Am I getting the cannon XP? Alright, let's go. The power of Ignite and Halo Blades. He's not respecting the damage. But you know, in lower ranks, it might be better to just go Ignite. I, I have taken TP. The last two games I believe, but look how much easier it is to secure the kills with Ignite because they don't get to flash away. Okay, important thing here, mobility against Cassiopeia, that's everything because it's gonna make it easier for you to dodge a Q. Like she's going for Rod of Ages, thank you build. Mobility is key, now I would love to get a health potion but it would lose so much. Got the ultimate up, so we're gonna wait for it to use a Q, then we jump in. Next Q. Let's get out. He does not have ignite. Hope he does not try to be annoying right now, so I can push it in. I tried to abuse that little 6 spike, you know, she went into my ult. That's pretty free. And we got a kill, got a flash out, so you can keep looking for engages, because we soon have the ignite up. Even better, because they also have a Swain. Guys, please buy it. Please buy anti-healing. I really see Bia watching. Two of them just heal up to full HP. Every Anthian is playing insane. I can respect that. I can respect the early game aggression. He has flash up, should be fine. He's surviving, so that's something. I don't know what that hook was. So now she's level 6. Be careful when you're dashing towards her. She's gonna install usually. So for example, the moment you're dashing towards her, she might also be ready to like sidestep it. Like this. You see, I just paid it out. I faked an engage and bam, her ultimate is out. And then we look for engage after. She has no flash up. If she goes for this one, I'm gonna engage. She knows what happens. Usually they always greet for the cannon. My ultimate is up. I'm not gonna let her reset because I want to dive her. If she resets, 
I'm gonna take plates. I'm gonna wait for my E to come up. Let's go. Power of Ignite once again. You see, Ignite is doing so much more. Doing a lot more work. Alright, do it take now, we'll just base. Gonna place a ward. I am so happy right now. Like you guys have no idea. He actually bought it. It's the first time someone actually buys anti-healing when they have to. It's the first time I see someone actually buying anti-healing when they have to. Even the opponent bought it, like what? So I always have to like make 1 million pings and then they don't buy it until it's too late. And Aatrox actually bought it, he needs an honor. Let's go. Let's keep it up. Against Cassiopeia, if you don't snowball... You know, she's gonna outscale you, obviously. She's the AP version of a hyper carry. Gonna out DPS everything we have on our team. I think I'm gonna take one more wave. If I Ignite, I would just go in. And look how, you know. Satisfying it is way clearing with Echo as soon as you get level 9. If you are fed and you get AP items early on, of course, you don't need level 9 to do it. But normally, when you don't get fed, this is the spike, like it is on most mages. Level 9 is where the wave clear becomes good. Got Lich Bane, so once again, her ultimate is going to be up, so we have to bait it out again. You, you are gonna get hit by it. Probably, but you have to make sure that you are not, but you have to turn your back against her so you don't get stunned. Remember, if you get caught inside her W, you can still lose. for you buddy because you play so well that's why i was being a bit cautious with diving due to uh, her ults if you get stunned under the tower and they turn against us pretty huge shutdowns he can solo invade so he's fine nice and when you have lich pain of course you're gonna push out the towers a lot faster so we win your abilities Getting the first tower. Hopefully they don't FF already. If I was on the other side and we tried to FF, there would always be like one or two players voting no. Mercury threats would be insane here, but I'm gonna prioritize getting the AP first. More damage is key before she gets too tanky, where she really starts becoming annoying. I should probably have went for a Dark Seal, it's whatever. But it's definitely a lot easier to um, get kills made with Ignite, that's for sure. If you prefer that, don't worry about TP being good, because it doesn't matter too much. Go bot. Viego could also be here to the drake
to wait a little bit. Let's see what bot lane is doing. Let's go. One thing Echo is really good at is diving and tanking for his team while diving because of the ultimate. Just like Fizz. Just want this blue. Wait, what? It looked like he was ulting over here. That's strange. That looked pretty strange. I knew that Emilio was using his zone, but it still looked like Diego was ulting to that side. Maybe I'm just blind, who knows. Keep pushing. Go towards bot side again. Jinx is overstaying. Unstoppable. Yikes. I guess Viego should be top side then. Where's the Cassiopeia? Not engaging because Milius here. Because he can just remove the CC. And then Cassiopeia drops the anti-mobility stuff. And I could end up being toasted. Ultimate down, good. I know what he's trying to do. Uh, can I stop him by myself? If Milio comes, it would be annoying for sure. An now the whole gang is coming. Do we try and then ult out? But I had to ult because otherwise my clone would be inside the pit. And keep them away from the Drake until Brother Pantheon comes. Should be fine. But to not tank it though. Alright, we got it. He's going in. Wrong way, but nice try. Alright, let's get the Nasus Tooth. If they were getting fed, I would also consider getting anti-healing, but now that we have it on our top, it's all fine. Even better, better that Melio stole a 1k shot down. Would have been really nice on Jinx, Cassiopeia, or even the Swain. Oh no! Oh my days, I am so dumb. I am so dumb. I was turning my back against her, but my Q made me face in her direction. That was so complete random. Bro, that was so dumb. Good thing I did not get Axel and Mage Eyes. Because I knew that the P ultimate was coming in, but that Q, that was so dumb. That's ping no ults. Ooh. Smackdown. 
triple smackdown I'll go top so he has armor boots he has anti-healing I have ignite but he has conqueror so if he stays alive for too long then we don't have enough damage Just pack off. Twin. Too tanky. Every bull needs a break. But the ultimate is out this way. Not sure what the cooldown is on the ult. Fine. Right, let's do a flankeronis using the sweeper so I don't step in wards. And if I do, I know. Coming in, let's go, guys. They're not engaging. Yikes. They trolled me. They are too scared. That would have been free. Now that she has these items, still burst her, but she can catch you. Even has bone plating. I missed. Look at how long he was surviving. Even though he did have the Seekers, look at how tanky he was without having any tank items. That's why sometimes you gotta chill. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's the Herald. I was wondering how he was uh, sort of TPing to that side. I could camp in the brush because they might just go straight for the drake. Maybe he goes for the red. He, he probably just goes for the drake, right? Since Pantheon is dead. He's coming for the red. Okay, let's go. Oh, that movement speed, man. Come on. If this Cassiope is ever stepping up, it's a clear sign that somebody's there. It's as clear as it can be. Where did he go? Is he still here? He's out. Oh! He sold it. Nice. I'm gonna help push bots. I actually think we can just go for Baron. We should just go for Baron. We have fit Kaisa. Gonna shred it. Kaisa is going bot for some reason. Why is this guy going bot? Hello? Oh, okay, they have fifth. I was thinking for a second. Alright, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and see y'all in the next one.